and see. Subscribe on YouTube. Hey everybody! Welcome to an all new Trenny and See. He's Trenny. I'm C, and today we are uh, doing an unboxing. We recent <laughs> get away from me with that thing. Um, we recently unboxed a bottle of cigarettes on a leather jacket from Sons of Vancouver Distillery. Very cool. Um, this is release number one, fifty six point seven percent. We've already tasted it and did a review, and it's really tasty stuff. Let's pour a couple. No, let's pour a little bit. Uh, yeah. they're, they're very cool because uh, they sent us this bottle with like handwritten notes and like yeah. this little, uh, I don't even know where it is. Maybe I won't go into too much searching. But... Are you talking it's... about the cigarettes that were on yeah. a leather jacket they sent us? Yeah, it was like a little thing of leather with a cigarette on it. Except you smoked the cigarette. That's, that's, that's a myth. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, but then they sent us this other box. Boom. And we don't know what's in it so uh we're gonna open it up and it might be more of this could be you never that know. we can dram club never, out never know they're a very cool uh company because they're very like just interactive so far with with us and very cool and look it's go. got the sticker on their, oh, their telltale oh, sticker look at that a note inside oh there's another handwritten note well that's a big note that's like a couple pages Cool, why don't you hold that? Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? We got a bar. I like the packages. Like, what the heck is going on here? We have, for some reason, Doer's 12 year old. Is it open? Uh, no, no, doesn't look like it. All okay, right. cool. That's, a, that's interesting. And. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Is this like a Sons of Vancouver collaboration with Doers or something? Um, Doers and then, I don't even know how to get into this one, but use this. Use this. Oh, okay. Perfect. Mr. Choppy. The knife. What kind of ah, Frankenstein packaging have you got in there? What, what the heck is going on here today? This is also Dewar's, I think. Look at this thing. That looks really old. What, what the hell? Whoa. Whoa. Be gentle. Whoa. What Be the gentle. hell's going on here? This. What, what the, the hell? Ne Plus Ultra, the very finest Scotch whiskey of great age, specially reserved and selected by John Dewar and Sons. 12 years Perth, old. Scotland, 12 years old. This is a 12 year old, so that's probably the new version. Okay, so then, Sons of Vancouver sent us viewers. The there must be an explanation. Look at this thing, that's cool. That's super old. I've never seen anything like that. Okay, well, let's put that there. I feel like guilty <coughs> for ripping this apart too hard. I think, yes, I, just kind I, of think I did it. kind of rip this apart. Hey, Trenny and C, James here from Sons of Vancouver. We really enjoy your reviews and have them occasionally playing in the background or pay, playing as background music in the shop. The first video, and I think what led us to your channel, was your Knob Creek review of their nine year and new. I love comparisons. One of my favorite ever is Ralphie.com reviewing Johnny Walker 1960s versus 2010. Hmm, I, I saw that one. Oh. Uh, I also really liked the 65-year-old bottle of Crown Royal that you did. Uh, that, you did do that. That was yeah. disgusting. Um, the difference in quality of the bottlings from decade to decade always amaze me. The theory is that in the 70s, whiskey was cheap, and distillers or blenders had access to better malts as they weren't as popular on the market. I'm hoping... For your channel, you can do a side by side of Dewar's 1970s 12 year and the modern Dewar's 12 year for your channel. To the best of my knowledge, this bottle is mid to late 70s. I haven't been able to confirm, but 1978 comes up in my research. I don't personally have the budget to buy expensive good whiskey, so my hobby is hunting and pecking for old bottles in the secondary market. Oh, hell yeah. 25 fluid ounces, it says on here. Neat plus oh. ultra. Um, 
You know this was a guy I met whose parents immigrated from Scotland and had a big collection in Canada. They started selling off bottles when they moved into a home in their 80s. They gave this bottle to their eldest son, who probably sold it to buy Fireball. <laughs> James, Max, and Jenna. Well, thank you. I That's mean, this so is like, cool. like a really it, neat donation for our channel. No to... kidding. Like, look at this. So this is interesting because just reading this, it says contains 25 fluid ounces. So it's not a 26 or like our traditional oh, yeah, nowadays, okay. right? Yeah. But there's no information. Like, there's nothing so on here's the a box. box. That it's is just all. a box. And there's nothing on this. It doesn't say the percentage or anything on it. So, oh no, it does right here. Forty percent on the okay. box. It just doesn't. Say and it what's on the, the new one? Presumably forty percent. Probably forty percent. Well. This is like a really good compare. Yeah, it's forty percent. And very even good comparison. on the the twist top there it tells you to turn it. Well, so I mean, it's really dummy proof, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> even us, we can figure it out. Well, so with, I think what we're gonna have to do is uh, obviously this is almost. Thank you. First of all, thank you. Yeah, sons of Vancouver. We are going to definitely do a, a comparison between the two. But why not throw these three in a dram club? Like do a bonus dram club. Like Maybe a Sons of Vancouver. Club. Like if James is a big fan of comparisons, then let's get everybody to compare them. Let's like, do it. I mean, it pres as, as long as this one isn't like a skunk bottle. but It I looks think good. Like the, it looks the, the, the look at the lid. Yeah, and there's no floaties. It's uncracked. Did you already show everybody? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, like it's uncracked. It show, show the people one more time. The twisty twist is uncracked, unlike some of our minis. Um, and the liquid looks really nice and clear, like no, no spooge in there. I love it when there's no spooge. Yeah, <laughs> hate well, spooge. Well, maybe a touch of spooge. It's yeah. Okay, but... Um. So this would be like a mini dram club, almost like a yeah. Sons of Vancouver dram club where we could taste theirs yeah and then do a comparison by the way like Let's nosing this this oh. is the second time really getting into the sun man there's some nice like toffees and like it's toffee but it's also kind of tropical it's tropical but it's like quite um i said this last time that i tried it too but like but it the underlying spirit is there like but you know what it has it has the leather funk yeah like you know how leather can have that funk to it Totally, like a disco stew kind of leather. Yeah, like a really nice aged, like, like secondhand store leather jacket. Yeah, love it. I'm going to taste okay. it one more time. Something different going on here. Very cool. Anyway, okay. so um, we're going to dram club these, but maybe we should just do our own comparison video of these ones first. Absolutely. All right. Stick around for that. This is going to be interesting. Click like, subscribe. Uh, follow Sons of Vancouver, and we will see you again soon. Cheers.